Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What's going on, buddy? My name is Zella Prince, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Now, today we got another SCP video, but it's related to that Thomas related series that I started walk watching all the way back in June, I think it was. Now, I have been waiting for another video to come out from the first scene of the UC Productions, and funny enough, I actually got a message from the original writer, the SCP series, Thomas the Train series. And I said I would continue to react to more of these videos if they came out. So, here we are reacting to some more. So we got SCP The Secret Files, Sodor and the SCP TVS, The Forgotten Tale of Edward number two. That is a mouthful. <laughs> so I'm not gonna waste any time. I think I might. There we go. There we go. All right. So with that truly being said, guys, I'm not gonna really waste too much time on the intros. As at the community tab, and something I put in the community tab. If you guys haven't seen it yet, um, I'm just gonna go right into this video. And with that being said, guys, plan this bad boy in three, two, one, go. Here we go. Oh wait, there was something else I forgot to mention. I um, am going to be reacting to Victor Transig's uh, SCP series that he is putting out. By the time this video comes out, th that series is already a start. But I'm going to re start recording them and reacting to them because I've been debating for the last two years or not whether or not to start reacting Victor Transig. And I think I'm finally going to go ahead and just start reacting to Victor. Because I do love his videos. I love them. So with that being said, guys, I'm just going to let's just let's just keep going now. I think I got that last announcement out of the way. Collaboration with them. Yep, there he is. Yeah, he reached out to me. Living trains. What is this? I like this music. I know what it is. Can't remember the name of it. I can't remember it. Secret SCP Files Episode 2. Takes place after Edward was derailed by the SCP Foundation. My name is Agent 4288, and yes, I am well aware that I look like the man that runs the island of Sodor. But rest assured, I am not him. I am but a mere clone. However, my story remains redacted at this current time. I have here in my possession the file on SCP-SI-0E2, also known as Edward the Blue Engine. The year 1992, month September, we have been keeping a close eye on Edward's movements around Sodor. We had been monitoring his actions, his behaviors, and his performance. We had positioned an old friend of SCP SI 2s to pay him a visit. This friend is none other than Charlie Sand. He was Edward's driver in the 70s. This friend is one of us, and he is one of our cherished Agent 73. Acted. He has worked for us for. It acted again. 
and we, without him, we would not be. Acted. <laughs> Charlie's mission is to. I forget how much redaction there is in the SCP Foundation. I don't watch much of the SCP Foundation in my free time. I only watch the ones that I've already seen before. Aside from the SCP-001 Daybreaks videos, I do watch those off screen. But it turns out like actual SCPs I know I've never seen before. I save them to make these videos for you guys. I tend to forget how much redaction there is in, in the SCP Foundation. The Edward fourth redaction. SCP-SI-0E2, along with his current driver and fireman, arrived at Netford to pick up Charlie to go on a track across Sodor for old time's sake. Meanwhile, happening at the same time was a redacted mission regarding SCP-SI-0J5. This mission unfortunately backfired when the driver met it back to SCP-SI-0J5 earlier than we had planned and managed to escape capture. Our air team proceeded to chase 0G5. Meanwhile, Edward just passed by Kirk Ronan. Then, Agent Jumash, of course we call him this, as his name is redacted for obvious reasons, overreacted and fired a missile. This missile hit between the two SCPs and almost killed SCP SI 0E2. Meanwhile, SCP SI 0J5 escapes once again. With this change of plans, we decided to focus all our efforts on it with G984, pulled up to SCP SI 0E2 just after the explosion and waited for the air team to land. We quickly pulled out our tools and freed SCP SI 0E2 from its coaches. Then we began to strap Edward up for the flight. Then, just before they hooked them to the helicopter, civilians from the wrecked coaches, that were still alive, of course, began to wake. So, Agent 267 Made them forget the everything that had happened. And flashed the people and says, This is all a dream. And when you wake, you will remember nothing of us or what happened to Edward or the missile strike. With that, the people fell asleep once again. Edward's current driver and fireman were also flashed with the memory wiper and put with the coaches. Luckily, Charlie was okay, but he had a few bruises. He was in Edward's cab at the time of the crash because, to him, it didn't feel right to ride in the coach. Plus, he wanted to be close to his old friend. The agents hooked up Zero V2 and flew back to our base at redacted location. All right, literally, I think... Um... Typically speaking, in terms of real reality, a helicopter would not be able to pick up an engine that big. At least, I don't think it would. They left the crash scene just because it's all pure metal. It's beyond the normal weight that a normal helicopter or cargo robot could pick up. Time as so all search and rescue arrived, D984 and his crew left first and continued their mission regarding SCP SI 0J5. James. Back at the base, the agents placed SCP SI 0B2 into a containment cell. Charlie decided the best approach to Edward was for him to talk to him. So when SCP SI 0E2 began to wake, Charlie started to talk, saying, Hello, old friend. Don't be scared. You are among friends, and we need your help. Edward was scared, and he asked, Charlie, you're a part of this? Why? Charlie told SCP SI 0E2 about our master plan to contain all of the engines, obviously. But he only told Edward what he needed to know about our mission on Zodor. Edward screamed at our agents, calling all of us monsters. Agent Charlie waved at a few of our agents and told them to shut the cameras off. He needed a moment with Ed alone. Well, it's understandable so, they are friends, after all. Old friend. So the agents oh. allowed him this. We do not know exactly what was said between Edward and Charlie, but they were alone for over ten minutes. Soon, after the doors opened, Edward agreed to join us. The agents Edward equipped joins? him with a tracking device and an explosive device in case Edward got any ideas of betraying us. SCP SI 0E2's mission was simple. It was to return to Sodor with Charlie and return to his regular run times. And when approached by people, 
they were supposed to claim no memory of the crash. We returned Charlie and SI-0E2 to Sodal. We also told them we will call upon them when we need them. This is the end of the file for SCP-SI-0E2. This file will be updated when more information becomes available. This is 4288, sounding off. There's still so much more time left. What, what else is there? Oh, just the credits. Okay. Alright, this series is just getting a little bit more and more interesting. I wish I had reacted to the first one. When it first came out, the original first episode, not the D99, whatever the number was. The uh, first episode with James, which I, I wish I had reacted to that. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. I'm going to rea continue reacting to more SCP-related stuff, including the Thomas-related ones. Because including Victor Trans, him I do wish to react to. And, I'm and I finally decided to go f out with it, since now he just made an announcement about his SCP prologue. Um, series i've read the community tab again this morning i can't remember what it, it was it's three in the afternoon it was like nine o'clock in the morning i saw that tab again but hopefully you guys enjoyed did enjoy today's reaction video please like and subscribe all that stuff guys and i will see you another reaction bye